now call on the distinguished representative of Greece. You have the floor, please. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will speak about uh, two things, and two things only. First, the things uh, we are proud of. Allow me to start uh, with the fact that we are proud of our cooperation with UNHCR. We have been through a lot the last uh, years, unexpectedly a lot, uh, but uh, one has to admit that uh, together we have worked very closely and uh, we have achieved a lot. Allow me to say that while there is a lot of room for improvement, uh, Greece is undoubtedly a success story. We are not where we were a few years ago, and uh, we, are a, uh, we are proud of our reception system and especially of our asylum system that is one of the most efficient and uh, uh, fast and credible in Europe uh, today according to all statistics. We are also proud of the work our Coast Guard is doing in the sea, saving hundreds of thousands of lives since uh, uh, 2012, a story that is, to put it mildly, quite underreported in international media. And we are proud of the work we are doing uh, in regards to unaccompanied uh, minors and uh, vulnerable people, uh, the new national emergency response mechanism that has uh, saved at least 5,000 minors uh, from the uh, streets uh, and uh, the margins of society, the ILIOS integration program, and so on and so forth. We are very worried today that having received more than 100,000 Ukrainians, uh, we are faced with a humanitarian disaster in Gaza. And uh, we have to be very alert uh, about uh, uh, what is uh, uh, happening um, uh, there and the uh, medium and long term uh, uh, consequences. But uh, having said all this, I want to speak about uh, a second uh, point uh, which uh, I think is very important and has not spoken uh, enough. Uh, and this is the political challenge ahead uh, we have in uh, Europe. A political challenge that my government in Greece uh, is uh, uh, willing to meet uh, uh, head-on. And the challenge is uh, to really not only um, uh, uh, expand and strengthen the asylum system, but uh, basically to save it and sustain it for uh, the future generation. Uh, there should be no doubt that uh, the international protection system is under attack in the rich world. Uh, which provide much of its uh, uh, funding and uh, recently more and more of uh, uh, the reception. And it, ha it has been uh, under attack because it is often conflated uh, with uh, uh, the issue of uh, irregular migration and especially economic uh, migrants. I want to be very sincere and uh, uh, urge um, the effort we have ahead to disengage the two uh, in order to save uh, uh, what uh, needs absolutely saving, which is uh, uh, our pledge to protect those in uh, uh, dire situations, uh, the true uh, refugees. And that uh, the more we conflate, uh, the more easy we make it for uh, the opponents of the system in the far right uh, to attack. And that the policy of open borders will lead eventually to closed borders for everybody and that we need to distinguish and be very careful. This middle of the road, uh, uh, road is the one we have chosen in Athens and uh, we want uh, to persuade the hesitants uh, um, and the uh, intransigent uh, in our partners in Europe uh, uh, to follow. That's why we have lent our support, full support for the new pact on migration and asylum and we are working closely with the European Commission uh, in all this uh, project. We have a lot of work ahead, but with your wise uh, leadership, I am uh, leaving Geneva later tonight uh, more optimistic uh, than when I came. Thank you. I thank the distinguished representative of Greece.